I would like to start with that uh, we have the last years got a lot of bad news when it comes to global warming. It's not a view that gives reason for optimism. I think that when we look back 12 years, exactly now, we were in Kyoto, and the Kyoto Agreement was under heavy stress, and the negotiations was very, very hard. We didn't know how bad the effects of global warming and climate change that time could be. We had some estimates, and I think it's fair to say that many of these estimates has been hardened these last 12 years. We were barely aware of CCS as a tool that time when Kyoto Agreement was negotiated. And I think what the work that CEP and IPPC has done to clarify what kind of weapon CCS could be to combat global warming and climate change is one of the really good reasons to be still optimistic, even with all the bad news on how the consequences of all the CO2 emissions and climate gases are. I say this because we will now go in the next week in a very complicated and very, very interesting situation with negotiations that is extremely Difficult. In our work in SEP, we want large scale deployment of CCS by 2020. And I think it's important to emphasize that the target of the negotiations in Copenhagen is only until 2020. That gives us not the predictability that we would like to have on the political and economic framework for CCS after 2020. But still, I hope that if we look at the international climate negotiations as a big construction that we need to build, we will get some very important bricks in place during Copenhagen. And I think that it's important to realize when we have these negotiations, what kind of role the CCS could have. And I'm very, very happy that in the technology platform, uh, when we picked the criteria for the 10 demonstration facilities in Europe, that the advisory board was so clever that they included that at least one of them should be tested out with co-firing or with biomass alone. Some of you have heard me talking about CCS and bio before. I must say I'm very, very glad for the work that the IPPC does to see if we can use this technology to go carbon negative. We're communicating towards an environmental society that is very skeptical to CCS. In our balloon room at the Bella Center, we see this every day, that we get a lot of critical questions on CCS. I was very privileged to have Professor James Hansen visiting us in Oslo this winter, and we had some very interesting discussions. Because the last three, four years, I've been wondering, what if Mr. Hansen is right? What are we going to do then? And I think it's extremely important to create strategies and pathways that don't exclude uh, targets that could go carbon negative. For me, that gives a change in the view only of how I looked on the energy and the uh, pollution situation five years ago. I was thinking coal industry is the worst pollutant.